Hello everybody, welcome back to Journal. So, I'm thinking this is going to be the last time. Because, you know, we have our little book here, our journal, and there's only this one day left. I mean, this is probably going to be the last time I sit down and record this game. It'll be about two videos for you guys. Two, maybe three, probably not. Honey, I'm sorry, but you really need to go to the hospital today. Am I in the hospital? Why? What's wrong? It might be your last chance, sweetie. What do you mean? I know you don't like talking about it, believe me. I don't either, but it's serious now. If you don't go today... What are you talking about? I can't do this anymore. I'm just trying to hold everything together here. I want to be I want to be strong for you, but I'm falling apart. You've been making it so difficult. That's not fair. I haven't done anything wrong. Nothing wrong? Breaking windows? Cheating on tests? Stealing? I I've really been trying. I thought you understood what this has been like for me. I want to be here for you. I understand why you're lashing out, but it's so selfish. Don't you know this is hard for me too? Well, <laughs> why is it whenever I talk to you, Mom, that, um, I start feeling like shit, number one, and my happy mood recording this game just starts going, like, out the goddamn window? Jeez. Okay. You're gonna be confused. I still, why are you throwing this all in my face now? I don't know what's going on anymore. Look, I didn't mean to snap at you. Everyone knows how difficult this is for you. For all of us. What do you want me to do? Please, just go to the hospital today. I know you don't want to, but do this for me. I don't want you to regret that you never did. Mom told me I had to go to the hospital. I've been putting it off for a while, but I just didn't want to face it. Okay. Oh, it's raining now. Yeah, it's raining in the game now. I swear, it sounds like it's outside my window. Oh. Hey. Everyone is gone? Is really everyone gone? The post office is boarded up now. The hobo is gone. I can't go into... I also forgot how to go past the church and everything. I mean, I remember now, but I just have to go across the entire world again. It's like a circle, kind of. The priest is gone. I can't do anything there. Nope! Because that's fucking creepy. Although I'm gonna assume that he's gone too. Had to check everywhere. Okay, yeah, I went the right way. The ground's literally break. okay. Elena, what are you doing here? I know this has been tough for you. I've tried to be a good friend, to be there for you during it all. I know, I haven't always been a good friend. Honestly, you've been a terrible friend, and I've been letting you get away with it for so long. I can't do it anymore. Really? You're going to say all of this to me at a time like this? I know it's not fair, but I just can't put up with it anymore. I'm not your doormat. Great, thanks. I'm sorry, I really do hope she'll be alright. I hope you'll be alright, but I just can't be there for you. Fine. I lost Eleanor as a friend that day. I was so angry at her. I wanted to blame her for it, but it was my fault. Just 
John. She's all right, kiddo. It'll all be fine. It has to be. Thanks, and I'm sorry if I've said things lately. Things I shouldn't have. Don't worry about it. No matter what anyone says, they know you're going through a rough time. I just... I wish I could do things over. Don't fill your head with regrets. Life will always throw crap at you. You just gotta deal with it the best you can. I feel like I've made so many bad choices. I think I have made so many bad choices. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. The real kicker is, even if you make different po- Drop- 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 I don't know about that. The toughest thing about life is realizing how much of it is out of our control. It's not all down to making the right choice or the wrong one. That's what hurts the most. Thanks, John, for everything. John told me it wasn't my fault. I wanted to believe him, but I just wanted so hard to turn back the clock. What is it, like my little sister? Hi. I'm so sorry, my child. I know that times like this can test even the strongest of us. I just don't know how to deal with any of this. Maybe you shouldn't be trying to deal with it. Just accept that we must, at times, face deep sadness. And then what? In time, the sadness will pass, and you will move on with your life. Don't try to rush this process. Just let it happen. I'm going to move my microphone a bit closer without moving my entire desk. Alright, that should try and be a little bit better. That's not very reassuring. At times such as these, there is often no particular solution. No quick fixes to make things better. I thought the priest would have something to say that made me feel better about everything. But instead, he made me feel like this would go on forever. Okay, I was like, um, did the music stop for a reason? There we go. Hey, Trev. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about this. It really sucks. Yeah, it really does. It's not going to help anything, but I've done the first six pages of my comic. You can read it later if you want. Really? I'd like that. Yeah, I'm actually really excited for you to see it, once you're back at school or whatever. So am I. I know I'm probably not who you'd usually go to about stuff like this, but I'm around if you ever want to talk. Thanks, Trevor. You're not as bad as everyone says you are, honestly. I guess I'd always been dismissive about Trevor, but he was the only one of my friends who seemed to understand what I was going through. And let me guess what's next. Oh, I was expecting more people. Oh, here they are. Okay, so I could have come from either side, so I'm going to start from here. Catherine. Oh, you're here. Finally. What are you doing here? My mom said I should probably come down here and say something. Say what? I don't know. I mean, like, I'm sorry for your loss or whatever, but I don't know what I can do about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. And... Listen, I guess I'm kind of sorry about the way I've been lately. For ages, really. I haven't noticed that you've been any different. I haven't, but I'm trying to change or something. <laughs> Where does all this come from, all of a sudden? Does it matter? Just shut up and listen, will you? Go on, then. I know I've caused trouble for everyone at school in some way or another. I didn't really care at the time. But... I won't do that anymore. I, I mean, I'll try not to. No promises. Okay. That's it, anyway. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, I should probably go, anyway. I'm sure you'll be fine, so that's, like, good, right? Yeah, thanks. It was no surprise to me that Catherine was utterly clueless. I couldn't blame her. If things had been the other way round, what would I say? Is it going to be the mom? Wait, why would it be the mom? Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be me? I bet it's gonna be me. Mrs. Martin. I don't want you to worry about school for the time being. We all understand this is a difficult time for you. I changed her voice completely. Thanks. I'm sorry I've not been behaving well lately. I don't mean to be that way. 
It's fine. No one is judging you. Someone your age shouldn't have to face something like this. I wish I wasn't. I know. I'm truly sorry. Believe it or not, I do actually know what you're going through. Really? But why? I probably shouldn't tell you this, but a few years ago, I got pregnant. There was a complication and I lost the baby. Oh, that's awful. Are you okay now? I won't lie to you, it's taken a long time for me to come to terms with it, but yes, I'm fine now. You will be too, eventually, even if it doesn't feel I like it. I had no idea Mrs. Martin had lost a child. I don't know why, but it helped to be reminded I'm not the only person to go through something like this. What is going on? I don't want to talk to these two. I just want to go to the hospital and be like, what is going on? But I guess I'll do that out here right now. Hi, Anne. Are you going to be okay? No, that's more Catherine. Are you, are you going to be okay? I guess this is going to be her voice now. Are you going to be okay? I'm a Martian now. I don't know. I guess so. Sorry, I've been... I've been Try this voice one more time. Hello? 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 Sorry, I... So... Sorry... Sorry, I've never really had anything like this happen to me. I don't know what to say. Don't worry. I... 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 I, I don't worry. I understand. No one wants to talk about it. No one knows what to say. We... I mean, I guess we don't know how to... We don't want to make things worse somehow. Nothing anyone could say could make this worse. I suppose not. Anne wanted to help, but she couldn't. No one could. It was long past the point where anyone could. Okay. Okay. Hi, Keith. Hey, how are you holding up? Not great, to be honest. I understand. I'm sorry. Yeah, everyone seems to be sorry, but I'm not even sure what that means anymore. We just want you to know you're not alone in this. I appreciate the sentiment, but honestly, I am alone. Trust me, I know how it feels. When I lost my dad, it just hurt so much. People wanted to help, but I didn't know how to let them. I know you're trying, but even knowing that, it doesn't help me. I can't stand all the sympathy. I'm sorry you feel like that. I really do appreciate everything you've done for me. I just wish there was a way I could do the same for you. Don't. Please, just not right now. Okay, sorry. I'll leave you Keith alone. Keith means well, but he just makes me feel even worse about everything. Okay. Let's go. Fuck you. There's carnies in there. Hell, there's a big top. Lady! Can I help you? Um, yeah, I mean, I think so. My tother, my, my tother told me I had to come today. Oh, that's right, of course. Just head straight through. She's in the private room at the back. How is she? Is your mom not coming with you? It might be best if we all discussed it together. No, she never tells me anything anyway. Well, I'm not sure we should talk without your mother present. I need to know. Alright, since your mother sent you here, I suppose I should tell you. So, how is she? Right now, she's the most critical patient in the hospital. What's wrong with her? She has bad infections. Her lungs have been filling with fluid and she's having trouble breathing on her own. What are you doing to fix it? You are fixing it, right? We've got her on a respirator to take the pressure off her lungs for now. But we're still waiting on tests so that we know for sure what the infection is. She's on general antibiotics at the moment but we don't know what course of drugs to give her until we get the results back. She's going to get better though, isn't she? I really can't say one way or the other, but we're doing everything we can. You need to understand, even if she does recover, she's not going to be exactly like she was before. She will need a lot of help. I'd do anything to help her! I'm sure you would. I'm sorry I couldn't give you better news. But it's part of the job. I can only give you the facts. I might like to dress them up as much as I like might like to dress them up. It's okay. I'm glad you're honest with me. Adults never are. Not even with each other. It doesn't feel like anyone ever tells the truth. I wanted the nurse to tell me everything was going to be fine. But I appreciated her honesty. 
Everyone is always too worried about upsetting me to simply tell me the truth. Is it where the carnival burned down? Hey, Dad. Dad? I just... I can't. Are you okay? I wasn't there. I should have been there. Please, Dad, you're scaring me. I'm sorry f for this. For everything. It's not your fault, Dad. Of course it is. She was our responsibility. We're to blame for this. Don't be like this. You know you couldn't have changed anything. If I'd been there, maybe it would have turned out differently. Step out of this, Dad. I need you. I'm sorry. I've not been there for you. For either of you. You've done your best. It wasn't enough. You should go in. You should see her. I never thought I'd see my father like this. He'd always been so strong in spite of everything. To see him so broken was a shock. I agree. Okay, so it's definitely... I forget all the... Mm. Are you sure? Are you sure you two are okay? Yes, yes, we're... Nothing hit us. My god. What am I going to do? They're going to take good care of her. You could ride with them in the ambulance. But I'd recommend you take your other daughter home first. Okay, so sister. I, I can't lose her. She means everything to me. I thought these things were supposed to be safe. Please, ma'am, just take your daughter home and then head to the hospital. They will do everything they can. That day at the carnival was like a dream. It was all too much to process. I couldn't accept that any of it was really happening. Oh, we're the going end of Grace. They called her Lady Grace, but in truth, she was the big boss. Nothing happened at the carnival without her approval. When she inherited the carnival from her father, it already had a grand reputation. Under her leadership, it would become so much more. She demanded that everyone who walked through the gates would find something that would amaze, excite, or delight them. There had been a few accidents, but nothing serious. She managed every aspect of maintenance carefully and fired anyone who didn't. She was always calm and decisive. No matter how bad things got, she always had a plan to fix whatever problems arose. Until the day the big wheel fell. Only one cart had come loose, and later she was told the damage was so subtle, it would have been impossible to spot beforehand. However, that cart had been occupied. A young girl had ridden alone while her mother and sister waited at the bottom. To any other carnival, a single blameless death might not have been the end. However, their renown worked against them. Soon all their bookings were being cancelled and it hit everyone hard, especially Lady Grace. She gathered everyone together for one final meal, to remember the good times, to celebrate what they had achieved, to say goodbye. Oh. Oh, I'm... That is cool, the way I walk with the paper What's everywhere. What's on the pages of my journal is not a chronicle of my life. None of these moments really happened like this, but this is how I remember them now. <laughs> I can still do that. For some reason, why can I do this? Okay. Oh. Looking back at my childhood, it's hard to understand why I said the things I did. I didn't understand how they would affect the people around me. This is interesting. Every choice I remember opens a door to a different world. 
a dream of how things might have been if I'd made better choices. Been a better person. Sorry. When I tore out those pages, I thought I could write a new story. A second chance, when I'd lost all hope. A better history than the one that actually happened. Oh, okay, so these are also credits. I think. Maybe? Or ads? I... Uh, I... In this new reality, we'd still be together. We'd be happy. But eventually, I had to wake up. This is the day my sister died. Oh shit. Nope. Oh, I'm so confused. Sunday, 12th, October, 1997. Okay, so... The way I'm interpreting this... Oh, man. I don't understand how all these fit together. It's just been so spread out the way I've played this game. Because I've only recorded, like, an episode a week. Oh, man. So the blank stuff is, like, extra stuff that could have happened, I guess? I don't... I don't understand. I'm sorry I haven't been visited in a while. I wanted to be strong, like you. I wanted to sit by your bed until you were better. I'm not strong, though. Seeing you like this, it's too much for me. When it happened, it was like the whole thing was just a dream. I didn't want to think. I couldn't believe. It, it was real. Mom didn't want anybody to let me see you at first. I was so scared, nobody would tell me what was happening. But when I first saw you lying here, I thought everything would be fine. You looked fine. I tried to convince myself that you were going to get better. That's what people in hospitals do, right? One day they'd tell me you improved, but the next they'd say you were worse again. Eventually, I asked Mom to stop telling me how you were. I stopped coming to see you. I'm sorry. It was selfish, and I don't like how it made me feel. But now, they don't want to say it, but they're losing you. You're going to be gone soon. It feels like you've already been gone for a while. Like my sister died at the carnival, and this is just a body that's been, ba that's been hanging around ever since. I've been lying to myself every day, tricking, to my tricking myself into thinking my life would just go on as if nothing was happening. It's easy. Nobody else wants to talk about you, either. If I mention you, they barely respond, or just change the subject. They're all car carrying along like normal. But I'm falling apart. They say they're there for me, but they don't mean it. I feel so alone in this. You were the only person I could ever talk to about stuff like this, and now your mom sent me here so I could say goodbye. But I can't do it. See you around, sis. So I'm wondering now if I had changed like what I said at near the beginning of the game and stuff. See you around, sis. If it would have changed. I'm sorry I lied to you. I didn't tell you about her, about how amazing she was. I should have used our time together to explain to you just how caring and generous she was. I'm not saying she was perfect, but she was a better person than I could ever be. She made me who I am, and by pretending she didn't exist, I've betrayed her. I'm still selfish. I built a dream world for myself. A place where I only had to worry about my own problems and forgot about everyone else's. Maybe I've not changed that much since I was a kid. 
I could have said thousands of words about her, and you'd still not know her like I did. You'd never understand what she meant to me, or why. I want to tell you that I think about her every day, but that wouldn't be true either. Some days it's easier to just focus on what's in front of me, than remember the sadness eating away at me. I want to tell you that the memories I have of her are of the good times we shared, but remembering her face brings me pain. It reminds me how empty, how alone I feel without her. I want to tell you that it's become easier over time. Maybe it has, but every time I wake up from dreams about her, it's like losing her all over again. She would be so proud to see how far I've come. I couldn't have done it without her. I hate that she couldn't see what she gave me. I know I'm not special. We all lose people, and although I'd lost people before, losing her hurt me in a way I can't put into words. Many of our struggles in life make us stronger, but this broke me down. It gave me wounds that might never heal, scars that might never fade. I'm a weaker person now. Maybe that's how it should be. I wish I had some final, clever thought to end with. One that might make you understand what all this was about. But all I have is me. A broken, messed up person. Trying to struggle through a life that doesn't make sense. That's just... who I am. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> that took a big turn there at the end. And since this one has credits, I'm going to just let the credits roll while I talk. Um. First, I've never... Had a sibling, really. Or even a really, really close friend. So, I cannot really relate to this. Um. I've lost people, but. Not people really that close to me. I. You, you can say that's sad because I don't really have that many people close to me. Or you can say that's great because I haven't lost people close to me. I mean. Take that as you may. But, um. I feel like I still know the sentiment that the game was trying to convey. Just the game itself. First of all, just initial complaint that I had from the very beginning. The arrow keys were to move, not WASD. And for some reason I could use up, but it didn't really get used for anything. Um, if I had done this all in one shoot, I think it would have also affected me a lot more. As in, I would have remembered everything, most of the choices that I did. All I remember is being an asshole in some situations. Because I was. On purpose. And this is the title screen. Um. Wow. Okay. I did not see that ending coming at all. I don't know what else to say about that. I also expected the last day to be a lot longer. Because I think there were four days in all. Four or five. Three, four, five. Somewhere around there. And the third day took two videos. I don't know if that was just me traveling, being an idiot. Or it was just longer. But I did expect the last day to be a lot longer and to bring everything to a conclusion. And it didn't. Catherine kind of came to a conclusion where, you know, she was like, I'm going to try and be a better person. Um, Keith and Anne, I think Keith was the name. I mean, they're together. Trevor started his comic. But overall, everything was just kind of left. And I think that is a really good way to end that game. This game. Not that game. This game. 
this game. Because when somebody dies, it's not like their death wraps something up or wraps everything into a nice little bow. It's just dropping everything, basically. Like, if your parents are divorced, a death will not get them back together. That's a very, very bad example. I am horrible at examples, but I think that's the point I'm trying to make. A death doesn't fix anything. Also, props to just the story and everything. I was wrapped up in everything about the school and home life and everything, and a few things did surprise me, but I did not see that coming. I think if I had looked at the cutscenes a little bit more and read, it, read more into what people were saying, I would have gotten a better idea, but uh... Yeah, uh, a story of a girl struggling with her life. So, that's it for this series. I'm Coffee Gamer. This was Journal. Like, comment, subscribe down below, and until next time.